Was there anything else in any of these rooms that I didn't... I don't think so. I think I got everything. Okay, use the disc of Ouroboros, because I'm guessing that's the last one. I'm correct. A lot more careful, in fact. Yeah, they didn't give me a gun. Do what mommy tells you now. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy. And it's for your own good, too. Oh, but mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the Mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? Maybe I'm just not picking up on the story here. So Alessa is Dahlia's daughter. And Dahlia's evil, doing some spell, trying to get some power. Alessa's required in order to get the power, but I don't really understand all of the... Uh, the details. I'm hoping they will clarify. Hey, Sybil. To realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. In spite of the lost soul returning at last. Just a little longer and all would have been for naught. I think so. I think the game came first. It's all because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Even though Alessa has been stopped. His little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> I don't know what the symbol of Metrotron is either. Meg Megatron? Freeze. Devil's name. Ugh. Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? Is that Cheryl in the chair in the straight jacket? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. Is Alessa Cheryl? That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare, waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. The time is nay. <laughs> Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. <laughs> this is the day of reckoning. 
when all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise, my daughter will be the mother of God. Uh Wow, that's kinda fucked. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Nice! <laughs> was that me or was that Sybil? No, it was Kaufman. Quit screwing around. Return things to how they were before. Kaufman! Did I ask for this? Nobody uses me. You won't get away with this. Your work is over. We don't need you anymore. What do you think you could accomplish by coming here? My, aren't we getting cocky? Bet you can't see this. It's super different from the movie. A glove it is! I thought I got rid of that! Like, all I had to do was plant it somewhere for you to find. You all well kept you busy. Ha! You're easy. I don't understand. And there's more where this came from. Stop it! Well, he's throwing the drugs. That worked pretty well for me earlier, so this has got to be effective, right? That is a long, drawn-out scene of that being thrown. Huh? What the... That sounds lovely. Is that a, a moth? Did it have? Did it have boobs? I can't tell if it has boobs. Why did it look like it had boobs? Why is it shooting lightning? Well, Dolly is dead. <laughs> There's also a cat blocking part of my screen. No thanks. <laughs> Am I supposed to shoot it? Okay, I, ow. I have been trained for this moment. Although not dodging lightning, that's not part of my training. Well then, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> ah, God, Bob, can you please get off of the screen? Come here. What? You're not the cat that I'm trying to summon. I'm trying to summon the other cat. Come here, Theo. Because I know if I start petting the one cat, the other cat will get jealous. Hello, Theo. <laughs> and it worked like a charm. Hello, baby boy. You don't like it when I start petting your brother, do you? Well then, don't do drugs, kids, because you might end up as the mother of God. While an old lady is screaming, laughing, and out your back a weird flying demon comes out. That can shoot lightning. All right, let's actually kill him now. <laughs> now that I can actually see. Apologies for the distraction. Should I be using a better gun? I should probably be using a better gun. I am getting hurt. Theo. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, ow. 
Wow, they are, the music is weird. I don't know what to do about the lightning. supposed to avoid lightning do I even have the flower rose to use it anymore no I was gonna try using the flower rose did it work is it dead ah uh, yes the song of its people thank you Ah uh, yes, the child. She's fading away. Sybil, let's go. I didn't see you at all during the fight, but yeah, let's go. Oh, Kaufman, are you gonna make it? Is that Lisa? It is Lisa. in fact did not make it <laughs> run Stop the fire. Yes, yeah, she did. This is the kind of game where I need to go and watch like a like two hour long video of of lore <laughs> lore explanation because I'm lost. Something something Cheryl is Anessa. She had as a child, but she was a child. And now there's a demon child that came out her back, but then there's a regular child that she spawned out of nowhere. I don't know if the doctor is a good guy or a bad guy. I don't know if Lisa's a good guy or a bad guy. I don't know what the drugs have to do with this. And then there was magic involved as well. <laughs> I 
did enjoy the gameplay. I enjoyed the puzzles. Both of them were fun. I the story just leaves me extremely perplexed. And I know that there is a story here and it probably makes sense if it's explained because Silent Hill as a franchise is stupidly popular. But being blind, I don't want to go down the Silent Hill lore rabbit hole. <laughs> I kind of do. But like going into this first game just completely blind, I have no idea what the hell is going on here. <laughs> I liked the gameplay. I the fight the fights were a little easy. I mean, you can do the game harder though. But I feel like harder they're just gonna make it like see there are fewer resources and I don't want that at all. Ah. I give I give the gameplay a solid like seven. I give the puzzles a solid seven and a half eight. I give the story as, in terms of being blind going into it, like a three, because I don't understand what the hell's going on. <laughs> I am absolutely confused. <clears throat> ah, yes. Is the child evil? I don't know. He seems happy, though. One of the games is tied up to, to circumcision. Oh, are, is Coffin and Lisa okay? What? Lisa Garland? Yeah. <laughs> Michael Coffin, I, this, this sequence is very confusing. Sybil Bennett. Cheryl Mason. That's a very cheesy smile. Is that Anessa Gillespie? Yeah, that didn't... That didn't clarify it at all for me. <laughs> uh, it took me 4 hours and 28 minutes to beat it. I got 175 out of 204 of the items. I actually think that's pretty good. Shooting style, mostly short range. Okay, I got 5 stars out of 7? Is that what it is? So you know what? I'll take it. I'll take that. I'm pretty good. Yes, it is okay to save. We'll save in the child's room. Next fear. Hmm. I think I'm good. I, I see your offer. I'm good. <laughs> 